happened? How, how did we get here? I, I remember being overwhelmed, but then I... Right, sorry about that. I called in a bit of help to pull you out of there. I do hope I didn't overstep my bounds. Snow Lily, I... I know, Sai. It's over. It's all over. Well then, happy endings all round. Smashing. Who's got the brandy? Wait, where is Thorn? Did he survive? He vanished. Ran off, I think. And he took the amulet you chaps found with him. You're not going to get all weepy with me, are you? I mean, I've got that stoic reputation to maintain. What now? For you, it seems there's more to do. For us... We've seen too much, my friend. Been through too much. I think it's time for us to go. Sai and I talked about it a few days ago. What would happen if we both survived? I'd like to go back to the Abbey of Blades with him. ...and help them rebuild. Maybe someday. It's not as though I'm dropping off the face of Tamriel. And if not, well... ...I'm sure there's a seat for you in Sovngarde. If you get there first, save me a cold mug of mead. So... ...this is where our roads diverge. For a time... ...there was much to rebuild there. I owe it to Kasura to bring her the news of our victory, personally. Snow Lily and I, well... ...maybe we shall finally have some time to ourselves. To what end? No. Let him return to his Imperial City. He played his role, and that is enough. Grudges are like... ...poison to the spirit. But perhaps... ...once the Abbey of Blades has been rebuilt... ...I have never been content to remain in one place for too long. It is not my nature. Eventually, I am overcome by the need to endanger myself. Between comfort and adventure, I always choose adventure. I would like that. It has been a singular honor, Vestige. Although I suppose that name is no longer appropriate, is it? Varen would be proud of you. I know we are. Don't toddle off just yet. Might I have a word? Take it you ran into Lady Meridia. Lovely woman, charming. We get on famously. While you lot were having yourselves an epic row, I gave her a shout, asked if she'd be willing to help us out if things went badly. The trick of it was the timing. With every blow to that Daedric windbag, you freed hundreds of souls. She was able to catch yours before it wandered off. Jolly good trick, that. This is delightful. World saved, heroes gone their separate ways, and this knight has a new mistress to serve. Bravo! Could be having a smash. Truly. You know, that Baron fellow was always a good chap, even if he did muck things up at the start. And he did put things right in the end, didn't he? He's still with you, you know. A part of you, really. And perhaps he can continue to serve the land and the people that he gave his life to save through you. That's all well and done. There's just one bit of business left. I'm positively chuffed things have gone so well. To be completely honest, I didn't think we had a ghost of a chance. But then, if we went up against overwhelming odds, we wouldn't be heroes, would we? Still itching for more adventure? Smash it. Have you ever wondered what would have happened if you'd woken up somewhere else, washed up on a different beach? My new mistress provided me with the means to help you if you're up for the challenge. Touch Meridia's light and see the world through the eyes of your former enemies. But fair warning, you will no longer be seen as a great champion. Even familiar faces will see you as a soulless drifter lost in an unfamiliar land. What say you? <laughs> 